Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you all out there from wherever you are in the world. Hey, how's it going? It's Janine here again, guys, rocking it out for my gorgeous and totally amazing over 40s game. Auckland, New Zealand, guys, that's where I am and that's where I roll. Today, guys, I've got something very, very amazing and special to share with you all. So I have got my hands on the beautiful new Nabla Cutie Palette. OMG, I love them. That one there is the analog one, which I totally love. Let me open it up for you. That's it there in all its glory. Oh, this one is a Nabla Midnight one. Another gorgeous one, guys. Check that out. Bluey, oh my gosh, perfect, perfect pan size, everything you want. I love these. Today, guys, I am gonna take myself from looking like this to looking like that. What do you think of her? I think she is absolutely amazing. I think she's great. She's done such a good job. Go girl, slay it. <laughs> so yes, guys, that's what we're gonna be doing today. So awesome, hold on up. Okay, my peeps, what's up? I've just put on my little headband for my makeup application and I've tied this hair back. This is all clipping extensions by the way guys, not a wig. Nice. Okay, so we're going to do a full face. I have Nabla's Skin Realist, this one here. Yep, so I've got that with me now. Um, I have tried it before, it's not, it feels a little bit um, oily for me. Well, I've only tried it once, so hopefully today it will perform as I like. But at the moment, I'm gonna put on some um, primer and I am using the, I'm using the Laura Mercier. I think it is. It's very thick. I think it might be filling in those pores, guys. Okay, my gorgeous peeps. So my skin feels really, really, really nice. Um, I am going to use this new Nabla Skin Realist. That one there. I'm in the shade four, by the way. I'm gonna use I'm just going to try three pumps, it's quite cover covering, so let's give it a go. I have to manoeuvre myself because I've got it on my right hand. Yeah. Nice shade. Yeah, I think I like that. That's that's pretty good. Feels very. I feel like I need more on. I feel like I, I might go for it. Two more pumps. Two more pumps, guys. I feel like it, it hasn't covered the hyperpigmentation. See how it is when it's built up, eh? So nice, let's see how it wears, eh? Okay, next up, guys, because then we're going to try and do a full face of Nabla. And there's a few items I'm missing, but you know, I'm not even going to care about that. I am going to do a little bit of concealing under my eyes using my beautiful Pat McGrath concealer, which I totally, totally, totally love. much more brightening that made my eyes guys follow along with me my makeup looks aren't that hard I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush flawless finish again I'm I love this stuff okay I will switch it up to Laura Mercier soon ah oh. 
Okay, my peeps. Natasha Denona eyeshadow base. I love this one. It's just amazing. I, uh, I'm always saying that. But it is. Really, really, really is, guys. I like it. I'm going to try and just set it with a bit of powder. Uh, I've got the Laura Mercier translucent powder here, guys. Just that one there. And um, it's really finely milled, so I want to try and set my eyes this time and see if this helps with any creasing or crinkling, crinkling, I should say, of my bloody eyes. So I'm just grabbing a little bit on the brush. Oh, too much. Tip it off. Oh, too much, guys. Too much bloody powder under my eyes. Okay, I want to do a little tiny bit of baking as usual under my eyes just to catch any fallout and anything like that. So I'm going to be using my lovely KKW Beauty baking powder for that, and I just love this one. And the By Terry one's the same as well lovely it's pinky so yeah I'm gonna get some on I'm not really liking that foundation to be honest I feel like it's oxidizing on my freaking skin Yeah, it definitely is oxidizing. I mean, all of my hyperpigmentation I can see. Bloody hell. Oh well, let's keep going. It is a full face enabler, right? Okay, my peeps, ready to hit the eyes. <laughs> See if I can zoom you in. No, that's the closest, sorry guys. So, let's hit these awesome eyes. So I'm going to just get a nice fluffy brush to start. And we are going to go, there's two mattes. Dark cream and matte. Oh yeah, that seems to be a, maybe a satiny matte. So we're gonna go in, guys. I'm gonna go in with contact sheet, and I'm just gonna put that as a transition, eh? Let's check it out. I like that. What do you guys think of that color? good one it's a good one guys okay the next one we're going to go into my peeps I like that transition is I'm gonna put something all over my lid and it's going to be noise <laughs> oh my gosh it's gorgeous it's gorgeous sparkly Yeah, my brush can handle it. Please, the Mac. Try the Mac. Oh yeah, it's even better. Wow, oh, that is really, really nice. Lucky I washed all my brushes the other day. <laughs> but I like that. Okay, so get it, get yourself a, like a MAC 242 brush or something like that, okay, to get it, pick up these shimmers. Now we're going to go on with this one here. Because I have to, it's calling my name, it's apricotty and it is pinky, goldy, everything. So, and I'm not going to spray this, I'm just going to put it on, eh? Let's test it out. Oh wow. Woo! That is nice. I think I do need to spray it because spray it because it's quite chunky-ish. Very odd. Very odd guys, but I'm gonna spray it anyway. No half of it's already on my lid. Let's 
just see if it helps it go on a little bit better. Oh, what a pretty colour, look at that. I love that. What do you think? Ooh. I might just go back in with noise again. That one there and just try and just uh, touch it up a bit. Gee, man, my shimmers. That is a beautiful look. That is a beautiful look, guys. Okay, we're going to go in with this matte. I think it's matte. Called dark cream, eh? So we're gonna go on with that one and we're gonna deepen up the outer. Oh, it looks very dark. It's good. I like her dark look. See a bit of fallout. Lucky I got that bake powder on there, eh, guys. Let's just try and fix this up a little. Get it match this eye. Jeez. Jeepers, popers, don't know. What you doing? What have I done? What have I done, guys? No, I like it. It's a tad bit darker on the side. You just tap it out, guys. Don't worry about this. It's going to fly on off because I'm lucky I put that baked powder on. So just tap it out with your finger. You can even use your beauty blender if you've gone a bit too hard. This is my bloody weird eye again. That beauty blender, where are you? So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back up with that transition shade just to try and actually just with the leftover product on it and try and clean up up top here. I will wipe this bake powder off after we do the bottom lash line, okay? So, get yourself a small, a small brush, pencil brush, and we're going to go in. We're going to go on with the two shimmers at the bottom. I'm going to go on with noise on half the eyelid and then I'm going to do this one on the other half. Not very... Very dark, but that's okay. Not all my looks need to be super dark on the lash line. <laughs> but I would like it. Okay, we're going to go on with that, oops, that one there, the chunky, gorgeous duochrome one. I'm going to spray my little brush for this, because I've got a feeling it will just flake away. Let's give it a go. Shit, I think I overdid that. Yeah, if it did a little bit, who cares? <laughs> who cares, guys? It's just all about testing out what you like. Now, I'm not happy with that noise one, that one there that I put on the bottom lash line, so I'm going to go for the dark. Yeah, it just looks like nothing. It looks like nothing, that noise one, so I'm going to go with dark chrome because that should give us some punch. I love it, I love it, I love it. Let's get rid of the bake powder, eh, so we can really see what we have done. Hang on. Okay, my peeps, I'm pretty happy with the eye look. Don't like the foundation. It's horrible. Sorry, Nubla. But it's just not for me, to be honest. It's not, it's not for me. 
So I have um, one of their lovely skin bronzing. That looks really dark. It is called Soft Revenge. So this is a bronzer and I have some others. But I can't fucking find them in those drawers. I've got so much shit in there. Oh, someone help me sort my makeup out, eh? So I'm going to use this one. Hopefully it's not too dark. I'll go lightly. And I'm using it on this new um, Sonia G brush, which is quite dense. Have you guys seen the new Sonia G brush? It's not the new, new ones that she has yet to launch. This is the last collection, so I just want to try it. Um, I don't know if a dense brush is the best thing to use, but... What do you reckon? Okay, my gorgeous peeps, I've just discovered I don't have any blush. Well, I might do from Nabla, so I can't find it. So I'm going to go with my beautiful Pat McGrath's blush. And I love this. This is one of the new ones. Isn't that gorgeous? Beautiful. Now I'm going to be very, very, very careful, okay? I'm not going to clown myself out like I usually do. Get a fluffy brush. I know what patties are. Yeah, they look so uh, quite good. I know what patties stuff is capable of. Oh, that's lovely. And I love her brushes. Uh, brushes. Her blushes. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Cleared myself out. doesn't lay good on top of this stupid front this foundation that's for sure what the hell did I use I wanted to stick to that nabla you know the whole nabla thing and um yeah love Patty's blush though I just can't get enough oh my gosh her blushes are amazing you're clowning yourself out, Janine. You seriously are. <laughs> hmm. Doesn't seem to be going down much. Yeah, that's okay. I love that. I love that rose blushed look anyway, you know. Okay, my peeps, I've got a couple of Nabla's um, highlighters or skin glazings. We've got that one there, which is Independence, which looks like a bloody blush to me, doesn't it? And I've got that one there, which is Truth. Let me read this out to you. Skin glazing. Glass skin finish glow powder. It says highlighter to me, right? <laughs> then we've got this one here. Which is privilege. And I actually know I've got some more in there too. But <laughs> I just fucking can't go, go get them. I'm going to use privilege today because if I use those ones here, it's going to... Yeah, it might interfere with the Patty's blush. Let's see what these... Skin glazes can do, eh? Oh, 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 I have a little surprise for you guys. I want to put on some Lashify. Lashify lashes. Um, I will just open it up for you. I am going to attempt to put on just two little... The two little ones at the ends just give my tiny eyes a little bit of a lift, eh? So it comes in this lovely case here, guys. The one there, and then you open it up. And I got the, um, what's it called? Well, it's a starter pack, kind of, pretty much. 
so I am going to go in with two long uh, one long one on the end and then one or two smaller ones at the you know after it not a full eye nothing like that so I'm gonna give that a go now and I'm gonna do it with you okay so it comes with this awesome glue um, one end is an actual mascara wand the other end guys is like a black you know glue which I'm not a bloody fan of that either I'm not a fan of black adhesive so I'm gonna go with the mascara one I'm gonna grab my mirror it's one of the bigger ones and I am going to attempt to just flick that under my lash and clamp it there yes now I'm going to pick up the smaller one so you have to work fast, I think you have to work quite fast because of that glue now I'm going to attempt to put this one there ah! do it again Gosh, I did it. I did it. What do you think? I did it. Okay, my peeps, I really like that. Um, yeah, new product, new product to me. I think that is so easy. Look, I did it. And you can add on more pieces too. Let's do the other side. OMG, finally guys. Sorry for going out of focus. Wow, finally did it. It wasn't too bad. Let's just really clamp them down, eh? Make sure that they're not gonna go anywhere. What do you think? Really gives a nice little effect, doesn't it? Check that out, guys. And that's just two pieces on the end. Okay, let's finish this look up, eh? Because um, I'm taking a long time. <laughs> Hold on up. Okay, my gorgeous peeps. I also got some lovely Cupid's Arrow eyeliner sticks. They can be eyeliner sticks. They can be full color. Well, they're full color stylo. So apparently you can use them for eyeliner even eyeshadow so I got arrow number five on oh, arrow number six a blue one arrow number three a lovely purple one and arrow number seven this one here so I'm thinking of using number seven in my waterline I'm just gonna go up top with um, Pat McGrath's black real quick you should see the mess over here guys it's a fucking circus things rolling off I really need to get myself a, a space for me <sighs> okay let's go oh you know what we forgot in a corner highlight let's add that now eh? it says lashes in a corner highlight time guys we forgot to add that so let's open up our beautiful cutie analog pal palette again and we are going to go for the gold one I said I'm not going to spray it or anything like that it's just going to be very very fast very subtle, very nice I'm seeing all these marks on my skin I am not happy with this foundation eh? it's bullshit to be honest 
but you know it's not up my alley but it probably would definitely be someone else's choice but it's just not mine it's not for me so that's all good okay let's go for Cupid's arrow in the waterline that little hint of um I would call it purpley magenta it's a little hint I should have smudged out more eh okay let's go do eyebrows and setting spray I want to get this video done so Charlotte Tilbury brow lift I can't wait to try the blue palette. Yeah, yeah. Okay, a little bit of mascara because I'm really going to put those two falsies on the, on the ends. So let's go with our Nabla Vicious. <laughs> Nabla Vicious mascara. And let's just um, blow these eyes out, eh? Okay, my gorgeous peeps, let's wrap this up, eh? I want to use some of Kimike's gorgeous brightening powder. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. I want to brighten my under eyes further, <laughs> further. Even though I've got this shitty foundation on. Love a bright under eye. Go down the nose a bit. That brightening powder is just the best, guys. You've got to get it. I suppose the bite. No, the biteri doesn't do this. This has got something in it. I've been trying to find something exactly like this, but I haven't been able to find it. See what it does? It just really brightens the under eye and makes you just look all snatchy snatched. Setting spray time my peeps and we are using my beautiful Urban Decay Ultra Glow All Nighter as usual. Let's get that on eh? Close your eyes. It needs to be charged. Oh well, just go like this, guys. Shall I use my mirror? Don't even need a fan, guys. Just use your mirror. Use your hands. Use whatever the hell you got. Now, one other thing I want to do, guys, is just enhance my mole because this terrible foundation. Just uh, covered the shit up out of it, eh? Not that I'm saying it's full coverage. That just did. Right. Lippy time, my beauties. Now, I have a whole heap of Nabla lippies here, which I absolutely love. All of these ones, and I'm not going to pull them all out, the colours. Most of the ones that I bought were like dusty pinks and nudies. The one I want to wear today is, not you, where are ya? Yeah, that one there. The one I wear, want to wear today, guys, is this one here, and it is called Masterpiece from Nabla, eh? I like that. I mean, I just really love my darkies. Let's check this one out. I've used it before. Make sure your teeth white. And this one is not that dark, you know. I love it. Look at that colour. It's just lovely. You can see it's got like a blue undertone to it. Which I totally love. Okay, we are done. We are done finally, my gorgeous peeps. What do you think of the look? Let me take my hair out for you and we will check it out, eh? Yeah, and I'll give you my thoughts on it. Hold on up. 
Okay, my gorgeous pinks, here is the gorgeous look. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think of it? I think it's lovely. I mean, it's very sheer, it's very... I love the eyeshadow palette, it's gorgeous. What do you think of the actual look? I love the eyeshadow palette. This is, oh, where is it? I would love a new space, guys, that I could work from. And at the moment, I'm in my bedroom, and I've just, just got shit everywhere. It's crazy. It's insane. But it's not too bad because I, luckily I am a bit of a clean freak. <laughs> but what do you think of this awesome, beautiful look, guys, from Nabla? Using this gorgeous cutie palette, Analog. Let's open it up one more time. Isn't she perfect? I love it. I love the colours. It's just so manageable to work with. I mean, I can just hold in my hand and... You know, I work with it like that, with the bigger palettes, I'm like... <sighs> but I love this one. And the colours are amazing. What do you think? What do you think? I am not very happy though with the Nabla Skin Realist. Um, okay, it is a beautifying tinted balm. I don't like balms. <laughs> Why did I buy it? <laughs> Why? It's very oxidizing on my skin. It's my skin's patchy. It's uneven. It looks very dry. Probably not too much on camera, but when I look at myself, I'm oh shit. Oh crap up there. I'm not happy with it at all. It's very dehydrating. But yeah, I am. It's it's not for me that skin realist, okay? It's for somebody else. <laughs> somebody else. I will stick with the ones that I love, which is my Pat McGrath and my Lemire ones and my Giorgio Armani Silk. I've not found any other ones that can match those three. And um, yeah, so not a fan, not a fan. But um somebody out there is <laughs> so what did you think of this gorgeous look guys I am loving it I think it's absolutely gorgeous that brightening under eye powder eh? who really can really changes the look I love Nabla's highlight even though it's a little bit on the sheer side for me <laughs> I love my blinding highlighters where they just go boom boom and I love their bronzer. I've just got to find the other ones. I find, I think that one might have been a little bit dark. It's okay, you can just tap it out. But it's the eye lot that I love. I love that palette. That palette is very user friendly. It's gorgeous. That duochrome in there, oh, the apricot one, it's beautiful as long as you spray it. And yeah, everything else in it about that palette was amazing. I can't wait to try the blue one. And I. Shall I do that one tomorrow? Oh! Excuse me guys. Got all over my damn lip here now. Got all over the skin realist. <laughs> Very thirsty. Anyway, I am so happy about this look. Apart from the tinted skin balm. It's, uh, 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 uh. So thank you guys, and I hope you enjoyed the Lashify. Yeah, I've got, yeah, I'm just upping my game a bit, you know. <laughs> so I will check you guys out on another awesome video, eh? Catch me up soon. Please like and subscribe to me, guys, if you enjoy my content, because I would absolutely love it. And I would um, appreciate a thumbs up if at all possible <laughs> but yeah have a good morning day or evening wherever you are in the world and take it easy guys have a lovely weekend eh? Mwah.